Okay, so to fix this problem, the first thing I'm going to try, and by the way, meshing is normally sort of a trial and error process, so it can be frustrating, but you just need to persevere. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, what they call a contract contact prevention. So if I go to my region and then open up this uh, mesh values tab, here you can see contact prevention. So I'll right click that, press new, one group contact prevention, and make sure you put a minimum search floor, like one millimeter. And then boundaries, I'll select the wind tunnel wall, and also the, the face we created. So you can see it selected those two parts. Uh, and now, let's try to regenerate the mesh and see what happens. Okay, so now, um, now you can see, if I just hide that again, now you can see that the tires have formed much more well behaved shapes and that's due to the contact prevention. So by the looks of it, this model looks quite good to me. A few little, uh, a few little errors here and there, but like, like these parts, but I'd say nothing major that uh, well yeah nothing major it's it's uh, good enough for me the way I see it but if you'd like if you wanted to you could do further uh, refinements with either volumes or you could specify the or further refine the minimum size but this looks good enough for me. So what I can now do is go ahead and click the volume mesh button. So by surface mesh it generates the mesh at the surface and when you select the volume mesh it actually extrapolates that mesh to fill the entire volume with little um, cubes or volumes depending on your settings. So press volume mesh and let's see what happens. Okay, we've created our uh, volume mesh, but nothing changes in the view. What we need to actually um, view this, the inside, is we need to create a, a section in the geometry that we can actually see the each, you know, each volume. So we need to uh, split this geometry um, down the middle and so we can actually see what that looks like on the inside so to do that we make a new derived part here new part section and plane section and you can see that's facing the wrong way we want it to be y is the y is the um, normal axis and I'll just press create like that and close so now you see the derived part now I will Add it on to mesh scene one, and okay, let's see, hide it, and then add to mesh scene one. Okay, so here you can see that well, it sort of appeared here, but uh, I don't see anything. Well, what you need to do is uh, again go to scene plot, and then let's see, let's go down. And you see the remesh surface was chosen, so we need to change that to volume mesh. And now you can see uh, what the volume mesh looks like there. Okay, so it looks quite good near the truck, but I reckon it's far too big here around the truck. So I want all the volume mesh to be the same as that base size, which was uh, one centimeter. So to do that, let's go back to the mesh settings, continua, mesh, models, or sorry, reference values, and here I need to change the maximum cell size to only 100% of the base size, and we'll re-click the remesh volume button. Okay, so um, now you can see that the the outer mesh is uh, much more refined. Uh, it's not really ideal because ideally you want a smooth transition uh, between mesh. 